Hey guys, I recently had the opportunity to speak to the junior varsity students at Calvary Assembly in Decatur and the topic that I spoke to them about was being able to stand out and be different. Um, when I started off, the first scripture that I used was 2 Timothy uh, 1 7 and it says, For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Before I began to speak, I, I had fear. I had fear of what people may say about me, about what people might think about me and what like the rumors that would be spread about me just because that I'm trying to live for God and do what he's called me to do. And I came across this scripture and it really helped me a lot dealing with that. And it really helped me just to push all that aside and just be able to walk in what God called me to do. And, you know, it just because, just because of young age, people may say you, you shouldn't do what God says. You shouldn't, you should live life. You should do whatever you want to do. But the Bible says in 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, don't let anyone look down on your age, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. In order to do that, you have to be different. You have to be willing to stand out and just stand out among your friends. Be the leader of your friends and not a follower. We're supposed to follow Christ, but we need to lead others to Christ. We need to lead others so that we can all make it. And, and coming with that is a bunch of temptation. A bunch of, te a bunch of temptation comes with growing closer to God and walking in that holy lifestyle. And in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, it says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. So no matter what, no matter what you go through, God will always be there. He always help you through any situation that you go through. He will always just be your right hand man in every situation. And he will never just leave you astray. He'll never, you know, leave, leave you to be alone. And, you know, I talked about me me speaking and how I have fear and stuff, well, I had to be courageous. And the definition of courageous is to not be deterred by danger or pain, to be brave. Someone who is not afraid, who is willing to stand up against the strongest battle. Just like in the Bible, it talks about how David and Goliath, how David was, he was small and Goliath was this big old giant. And David took him down with the stone, hit him in the forehead, you know, he died. It says in 1 Samuel 17, 49, when David reached into his bag, he took out a stone. He slung it and struck Goliath on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, talking about Goliath, and he fell face down on the ground. That's like, that's like, you know, y'all watch basketball. It's like Nate Robinson, you know, knocking down on Shaq. Big Shaquille O'Neal. That's a big guy, right? That took great courage by David. That took great bravery by David. Because knowing that he was so small and Goliath was so big, he knew that he had God on his side so he could conquer anything that came in his way with the power of God. And I just, I honestly and truly believe that we need to let God use us and allow him to help us to be bold and courageous in what we do and just to help us, you know, stand out and be different from others. And in Joshua 1, 9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. No matter where you go, just think about that. No matter where you go, God will be with you. No matter if you go to the store, football games, basketball games, even 
the skating ring. God will be with you wherever you go. The long car rides to work. He'll be with you. I just want to encourage you before I go that there is a Father in Heaven who loves you. He loves you dearly. He would do anything for you. And I just want to encourage you to not be afraid, to not fear anything, because God is your strength. In Psalms 46, 1, it says, God is your refuge and your strength, a healer who is there in times of trouble. So he will always be there for you, no matter what. He will give you the strength when you're weak, and he will lift you up when you're in times of trouble. He will lift you up. And I just want, you know, God has a calling on all of our lives. And I just feel like that we need to stop being afraid and stop worrying about what people may say about us and worry about what he says about us. And just step into that call and step into that lifestyle of growing. You want to, you know, you want to know Jesus more. You want to grow closer to him. And just uh, you want to be a positive impact on his kingdom. And you want to help his kingdom to grow more and more. I want to thank you guys for watching today, and if you enjoy watching this, please share and subscribe and like this video below. Thank you.